My wife's here tonight. Connie, I don't know where she went. She's probably hiding way in the back. But um, uh, she, she'll vouch that I have no problem talking about myself. So if I, if I talk way too long, just she'll pull me off. Um, thank you, Romy, for, for allowing me to. Uh, you want me, I can stand. You want me to stand and speak? OK. Um, Romy asked me to talk about the, the race directing side of, of ocean swimming and how I got into it. And um, I have to go way back 30 years when I was coaching cross country at Georgetown College in Kentucky. Um, I was the new guy, and they said, hey, you got to put on the, the, the Kentucky, Tennessee, small college uh, cross country invitational. I knew nothing about it. And um, well, I, I knew one thing. I got to get people that do know stuff about it. And that's what I did. I reached out to other people, and they said, well, why don't you have it during the state cross country meet? They'll do all the work for you. College will show up. They'll time it. You don't have to do anything. And that's exactly what I did. And got all the, oh, well, you put on a great job. But I really didn't do anything. That was my first taste of race directing. Got a free t-shirt, passed out t-shirts. Fast forward, I moved out here, married my lovely wife. And um, I had an idea about putting on a triathlon in Kentucky, where my parents live. And well, before we did that, there was a race director conference up in San Francisco. And we had just had triplets. They're now 19 years old, two girls and a boy. And I said, let's get away. Let's go to this race director conference, just have a little vacation. Um, and we can learn about race directing. Go up there, uh, met some great race directors, came back down. And then I found out they were putting on the Redondo Beach Triathlon. I'm like, wow, I haven't done a race since the triplets were born. This will be my comeback race. So I got in shape for it. I won the race, and this is in 2005. And not bragging by any means, it was a little sprint. And met Dee Dee Moore. Um, and after the event, Dee Dee didn't want to do it anymore. It was too much work. I'm like, well, I just came from a race director's conference. I know what I'm doing. So took it on. And let me tell you, putting on a race is way, way more difficult than training for one. Um, and I found that out. I mean, you know, the, the, we didn't have fights too many. But uh, it was just stressful nights. Did I, did I order enough t-shirts? Enough people going to sign up? But the neatest thing is when you see people start at the finish starting line, the gun goes off, and you're like, wow, we put this together. This is kind of cool. It's like the silence, and you just see everybody out there in the, in, the, in the ocean finishing. Hopefully, everybody gets out, and they get their medals, and you get the feedback. Um, but again, Again, it doesn't happen without having people there that know what they're doing. Again, I'm the director, but I had a great crew of 10 people that knew how to, I don't know if you know who Annika is, she was my transition person, she was my start finish person, she puts on the LA triathlon, she's like that person that does everything. I brought in somebody else to the transition, I brought somebody else, Mike Romesser, to be my swim coordinator. I brought in, um, oh gosh, somebody, uh, Walter Wolf, who's a cyclist, to be my, my, uh, my bike coordinator. So you bring those people in, and that's what a director does, right? You bring in people that are better than you, that know exactly what to do in their field, and you take the credit a little bit, but you pass it on to them, right? Um, well, a couple years ago, the mayor, he reached out to me and he said, hey, let's meet for coffee. I want, I want to put on an open water swim because I want the Olympics here. I said, what? He goes, yeah, 2028. 20, I want to have the 10K swim right out here in the South Bay here. We have elevated viewing. I want this to be the map of where people come to swim for open water. So we met at the, what's that? Bull and Bear, I don't know, some coffee place next to Joe's. Hadn't even been there. Kind of a foo-foo coffee place. <laughs> so, so we sit there, and I'm like, gosh, I'm meeting the mayor. This is awesome. I'm going to meet the mayor. And um, if, let me know if I'm talking too long. So, so three, more three more minutes. So anyway, so we sit down, OK? And then we put the race on, and it was great. No, uh, <laughs> you, you say the mayor has a vision. He brought me in. I brought in a few other people, and you know, I said, well, what about the Redondo Beach Triathlon? Well, OK, that's fine, but I want an open water swim. I want this to be the capital of where people come to open water swim. Well, then COVID hit, right? Pools close. What do people do? They all start, started coming down to the South Bay, people from Pasadena, people from San Francisco, wherever. They were coming down, Sasha, you know. <laughs> all these people are like, wait a minute, this is our area. Y'all get, <laughs> you get out. This is our little secret area. But it put Redonda Beach on the map. And um, so there is an upside to COVID because now, of course, you know, all the pools have opened up and people have disappeared. 
Um, but why do I put on an event like this? One, it's, it's something I like to do. I love to do it, believe it or not. Um, and it's getting people like you. I see familiar, familiar faces out here that I've coached and I've seen you out at Open Water Swims. Um, and just bringing everybody together to the beach uh, and enjoying the, the, the South Bay. Because this right out here is probably the best open water swimming um, anywhere. Uh, and I, I'm not an ocean person. If you, if, if, to take a vacation, I'd rather be in Mammoth, believe it or not, swim June Lake. Uh, my wife loves the beach. I'm not a sandy guy, whatever. And um, But when the pool's closed, I really fell in love with the South Bay and open water swimming. With that, maybe that's time for me to pass the bike <laughs> on to the next. Yes, and questions. Yes, anybody have questions? Yes. No, no, no. Wait. I'm oh. sorry. No okay, questions. No questions at the end. Okay, questions are at the end. Oh, okay. Sorry. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna pass this there. I'm gonna pass it to you. There you go. Okay.